Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Deb Chanel's 48 World, where we do reviews on any type of commentary we like to do it on or we just talk about certain celebrities or sometimes we just talk about everyday people okay everyday people but my two favorite people one is a comedian and one of them is just a doggone fool okay she is a reality star and she made me kiki ha ha laugh split my pants and everything else make my Ooh, my muscles in my stomach go berserk. But I just don't understand why two people that I do like. Okay, one, I can say I definitely met in person. And she is not all what people make her out to be. And that's Jocelyn Hernandez. Yes, back in my world. Okay. My everyday flow. I was a manager at a store called Babies R Us. A uh, store department manager and she came and graced herself in my presence and that's how i met the lovely jocelyn hernandez okay very simple everyday person um she don't put on airs or anything like that just very nice nice individual never can say that i met those two people they might just be holding on to her just to be holding on to her as we say all right, but Linnea, I'm like, what is Linnea talking about up in here, up in this camp? What is going on? Oh, child, let me talk while I still got my voice because my voice is going in and out. Got some sinus issues and an ear infection. So, let's just cut to the chase. I got it from the guru, and I'm out here trying to understand what is going on in these streets okay why are my two favorite people jocelyn hernandez okay i like to call it jojo and my lulu i'm looking like the expression cat williams have on his face what the hell just happened here why is lunel calling out someone i thought she liked it jocelyn hernandez she triggered jocelyn talking about cocaine usage and People using all these uh, drugs that's not legalized and they're just wasting their life away and ending it too quickly over, you know, the mess. All right. The cocaine, the cat out there, the white horse. You know what I'm going with it, people? But let's get into this article that the guru or gyro or guru, I think it's guru. And we had Bibba. Adams wrote up a little article on the feud or the messiness going on between Lunel and Jocelyn Hernandez. She titled it, Lunel Calls Out Trigger Jocelyn Hernandez Over Post About Drug Use. Now, you know, I don't know what Lunel was doing at the time or how she was, you know, contemplating and trying to put her words together for other people to adapt to it or relate to it in some way. But, honey. Lunel just got tired of people using all these illicit drugs and dying. And Jocelyn thought she may have made a uh, insult or reference to her and her using uh, illicit drugs. And honey, Jocelyn started calling people fat. Okay, or pig, I should say. And I'm like, wait a minute, hold up, hold up. Is this the same person who narrated or what do you call it? Uh, Co-host your reunion for the cabaret. Linnea, girl. Well, I thought y'all were friends. What's going on? She tell us the real tea. But they had war, war of the words on social media. The social media platforms take over again. If you really want to go out there and act ratchet and just don't give a crap, get your YouTube name or get your social media account. Go on an assumed name that's not your own. And just wreck havoc out there on those waves, okay? All those radio waves. But anyway, let's go into what they were talking about. They said, um, the comedian on Instagram, that's Lunel, you know, speaking her mind, 
uh, posted a discouraging drug you somehow started a few with the reality TV star Jocelyn Hernandez, girl. And yeah, she was supposed to be like the host of Jocelyn's cabaret show and entertaining them. And now Jocelyn looking at her sideways. I'm like, okay, let's see what we got here. Keep reading. Okay, it says comedian Lunell shared a post about discouraging drug use on Instagram yesterday. A screed or shreed that somehow started a feud with former love and hip hop Atlanta star Jocelyn Hernandez. Have a drink, smoke a self rolled or dispense a dispense, oh man, dispensary rolled joint. Leave the effing scissor, molly, and cocaine alone, Linnell wrote. You might be next. And all you were trying to do was party. This ish. It ain't no joke at all. The dope dealers are killing people. I'm like, okay, so now, okay, all right, I see where you're going with it. But there's always been drug use out there back in the 60s and the 70s, baby. So I'm, I'm not understanding where you're coming from. Is this a plea because you felt some kind of way at the time that you needed to just speak your mind and be pro-drug uh, use or anti-pro? Or anti against drug use. Like are you for it or are you not for it? I'm kind of confused. Kind of confused, Linnea. But I'm going to go for you against all this illicit drug paraphernalia going out there. I guess you're saying people just need to smoke a little marijuana here and there maybe. Or they might need to smoke a little cigarette. But if you look at it on the whole totality scale, basically all of it's uh, screwing you up, Linnea. Even the cigarettes. They got the nicotine. It's taking people out to call the big C counts. So you know what I'm saying? But anyway, that's just my little uh, commentary I put in there. Going back to the article. It said, but hey, you don't have to listen to me. She added with a broken heart emoji and three caskets. The gossip site, the Neighborhood Talk, shared Lunell's post reporting that she shared the message following the news of the acclaimed actor Michael K. Williams' death. Uh, the post asked Instagram users if they agreed with the message Hernandez did not tell this fat, okay, not a good word, it's a garden tool, all right, to stop eating. That also can kill you, wrote Hernandez. She's a burger away from a heart attack. And you talking about someone just died for what, whichever reason that she's not even sure about? Effing put the plate down, pig, pig, pig. I'm like, oh, wait a minute now. Oh, it sounds like a nursery rhyme going on. Joyce Hernandez telling somebody, calling somebody out their name. And Linnea wasn't even talking to you, Jocelyn. I'm like, I'm confused. I'm so confused. But going back to the article, it said Linnea didn't share Hernandez's message along with some responses from several of her family members and supporters, including Lou Duvall, who wrote on Twitter, if you get offended from someone telling you to stop doing drugs, that's a sign that you should probably stop doing drugs. And I have to agree with them. Or if you come to a point where everything just gets on your nerves and this, that, and the third, then sometimes you have to do a little self-evaluation, a little self-checkup, and see if you fall in one of those categories. But going back to the article, it said in a follow-up post, Lunell wrote, after four actually more back-to-back -back deaths and one person critically ill in the hospital with a short time, I felt compelled to plead with my people to subside and recreational deadly drug use of molly, scissor, and cocaine, etc. She added, well, somebody or someone got obviously triggered and they are mad mad, referring to Hernandez. Then, we have rapper T.I. jumped into the fray, posting a picture of himself and Lunell with a caption reading, Rocking with my folks at Lunell. No slander shall be tolerated or condoned. And that's on that. Okay, then it just went on to say that Lunell co-hosted the reunion special early this year for Hernandez reality show, Jocelyn's Cabaret Atlanta. So I'm like, okay, guys, y'all don't heard my spiel. Y'all don't heard what I felt about it. I'm still kind of confused and a little bewildered that they would just be at odds with one another. Just because they had a difference of opinion or one person felt strongly than the next person about somebody's drug use. Okay? 
But y'all get in them comments and y'all tell me what y'all thought about Lil Nail and Joyce Hernandez at each other's throats. Do y'all think it's just a publicity stunt? Or do you think there's some valid reasons there why both of them were acting up on one another? Okay. Or do they both just need a time out somewhere? Take a chill pill and come back and apologize on the public platform of social media and just let bygones be bygones. Okay. That's all I got for this video. I'll check y'all out in the next one. Good night.